Hi guys, today's video is about a Moroccan hair growth secret which is no longer a secret, it's very popular now and it's clove oil for hair growth. I'm gonna show you how to properly make that oil and talk about its properties for hair growth. Let's get started. The first ingredient you need for this recipe is olive oil. Here I'm using organic extra virgin olive oil. I added 350 ml to my pot. I'm using this oil because that's what I saw Moroccans would use to make clove oil but I would usually use grapeseed oil because it has a higher smoking point than olive oil and it's also a great oil for my hair. The second and last ingredients are cloves of course. I'm adding about 35 grams of cloves. I'm gonna mix well. The oil is already hot here and I'm gonna avoid heating it for too long. I let it simmer for about 5 minutes. Of course you don't want to fry your cloves and destroy your oil so 5 minutes on the stove is enough here. Clove oil is very rich in phenolic compounds that promote hair growth, improve the health of the scalp and prevent premature greying of hair. Clove in general has high antioxidant and antimicrobial activities. It has been used for centuries as a natural food preservative and for many medicinal purposes. Personally, I drink clove tea from time to time and it really helps to boost your immune system and heal acne for example. This is how the mixture looks like after removing it from the stove. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. After my mixture has cooled down, I'm gonna pour it into a glass jar, seal it and let it sit in a cool and dark area for 5 weeks but 3 weeks is enough if you plan to make this recipe. After 5 weeks, this is how the oil looks like, it's very concentrated and it smells good. I'm gonna take another jar, put a coffee filter on top and secure it with a paper clip. I didn't have a closed pin this time. So as you can see the paper clip didn't work here. This kind of filtration takes a long time but this method really helps you to obtain an oil without any clove residues inside. However, I didn't have the patience that day and it doesn't bother me if I get some clove residues in my oil so I used my strainer this time. As you can see, separating the cloves from the oil is really fast in that case.
Look at how beautiful those cloves look like. You don't have to throw them, you can still use them for other recipes. So I'm gonna put them in a jar just for the presentation. Here I'm adding olive oil to another jar to really show you the difference between pure olive oil and clove oil. As you can see, clove oil is a little bit more cloudy and it has a really strong smell of cloves. So this is olive oil, clove oil, olive oil and clove oil. You see the difference? And here you have our cloves. I'm gonna put my clove oil into two containers. Okay, that's it for this video guys. Tell me in the comment section down below if you have already tried this oil. I know it's very popular right now and what are your results? Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and I see you in the next one. Bye!